lot we could talk about with that gameplay, and I have a lot of thoughts. But one thing that's interesting whenever you go through the gameplay are the things Nintendo didn't announce, but are present and make you wonder. And it does appear that a discovery has been made. Well, several discoveries are being made from this footage that hasn't been confirmed by Nintendo, but certainly looks like it's a thing. What are we talking about? Well, before I tell you, I want to remind you we're on a road to 100,000 subscribers. If we get to 100,000 subscribers by the time Tears of the Kingdom comes out, we'll give away a collector's edition, a pin. Oh, yes, a pin from PAX East, those exclusive Tears of the Kingdom pins. And we're actually on our way in a moment to pre-order the Tears of the Kingdom OLED to give away as well. So, uh... Oh boy, we're pretty excited about this. Now, what are we talking about when we were looking at this game? What feature have people been wondering about for a long time? Well, that feature is shrines. We have been wondering if shrines were going to come back in this game in some form. They were a massive part of the original game, but we haven't seen anything to confirm it. And when you watch through the gameplay a few times, it's pretty easy to miss that it does appear shrines are coming back. Now, it's only during one little part of the video, and it's on the mini-map, but a symbol appears that looks identical to the symbol used for shrines in Breath of the Wild, heavily suggesting that while we have yet to actually see a shrine, shrines in some form are in this game. Now, shrines were teleportation points as well, and people have speculated, oh, Maybe that, uh, that that symbol actually is just a teleportation point and it's one of those green spirals. While true, I do think if that was the case, they could have come up with a different symbol. The fact they're using the exact same symbol they use for shrines really makes me feel like shrines are back. Now, what's interesting is shrines in the past were accessed with the Sheikah Slate, which we have yet to see Link have. But that doesn't mean that we can't use it at some point. That also doesn't mean that these shrines necessarily need that. Now, while we did get the zone eye confirmed, and you're going to see a whole lot of theory videos popping out now about the zone eye, as if we haven't had those this whole time. But ever since the zone eye technology was confirmed, people have been kind of leaning away from Sheikah technology. And it's true that we have seen less and less of it. But we have seen some Sheikah technology already in the works in prior trailers. So it's not impossible for shrines to come back. And I'm actually curious on the dynamic between the Zonai technology and the Sheikah technology. But it does appear shrines are coming back. We don't know what form they're going to take. We don't know if they're in the world, if they're underground, like the prior shrines. If they completely rethunk the way shrines work. But they do appear to be in the game. We don't know how many. Now, you could go, well, with how big this game is, it has to be more than Breath of the Wild. Maybe. Or there's going to be a lot less of them, but they're going to be much bigger. Maybe the shrines are actually dungeons this time, and we could just teleport around to the different dungeons. That's possible as well, as Nintendo did sort of infer that shrines were kind of a replacement for dungeons in a way, but also a way to give you something to discover. So I am really glad to see them come back. I do think that there may be less of them than we had in the first game, but I also think they're going to be more important. That's sort of the way I've been leaning this whole time. If Shrines did return is we can't just do what Breath of the Wild did. That would feel a little lazy. I think if you're going to have Shrines come back, they need to have a bigger, better purpose in the world, and I think that's going to happen this time. But again, for now, you could say it's a theory. It's not technically confirmed by Nintendo, like they haven't come right out and said, oh yeah, shrines are back. Of course, they haven't said a whole lot of things about the stuff we saw in the footage. As an example, Koroks are back, and you didn't even see the AG, Anuma, like even reference or, you know, say that Koroks are back, and yet we factually see a Korok with a giant backpack in the footage. So again, it's very clear that we see the shrine symbol on the minimap, and until further notice, until we have more information, that looks like shrines are back. Uh, I, I don't know what else you could call it. It is the identical symbol from Breath of the Wild. So you let me know what you think about this down in, down in the comments below. I'll put a link to a Reddit thread that I originally found this on uh, just to make sure we give proper credit and sourcing on all of this because I've been scouring through the footage. 
I sort of missed it because I wasn't staring at the mini map enough. So now I got to start looking at the mini map. But I wanted to put that out there for people that are looking for more information on Tears of the Kingdom. There's sure to be many, many more videos coming out in the coming days. Uh, but you guys are awesome and amazing. Thank you so much for being here. And I'll catch you in the next video. Yeah.